Break. Yeah, boy. My good buddy Wes doesn't get to go to the bike park very often. He's at a different stage of life than me with younger kids and self-employment and all that. So when he said, hey, you want to go to Jared's next Saturday? Of course, I jumped at the chance to show him around. We started in pouring rain as usual. Um, I, does, I normally do not let that bother me. I just go because I know I'm going to have fun whether it's wet or dry. It's just different type of fun. So off to Jared's we go. I had some specific things that I wanted to do, some of them new, some of them old. The big step up on the shuttle trail over to the shuttle pickup is one of the things that I've recently started doing and I for sure wanted to hit it today. Wasn't real sure about the mud though. <laughs> Yeah, short. I knew I would be too. When I came to the corner, I felt it bog in and I was like, oh boy, but that's okay. With a lot of the trails closed because of the rain and they're doing their summer race league, so they got some of those taped off too. We decided our best option to warm up would be backwoods. Lap one, warm up lap and it rained. Boy, did it rain. So, A lot of stuff's closed, so we decided lap one's gonna be backwoods. I'm gonna skip all this so I check it out. Wet wood is no fun. Oh, it's fine. But I got, ooh, that's not. I gotta get warmed up on something. But nah, with goggles around him. Got to put my goggles on. Good? Oh, yeah. Already got mud in my eye. Yeah, that's fine. For our second lap, we decided to try out this race course they were going to race today. We are not racing, but we thought since everyone else is warming up on it, why don't we? And it was a different mix. I didn't even think about it. They do a good job of this. So it's the very beginning of our Moochie Express into a very short little section at the end of Dong Fang on to 1776. I've never rode through that little connector, so let's check it out. I don't know if you noticed, but the sun has come out. We're gonna get onto some good laps now. But first, Wes is wanting to eye up the wooden drop on backwood, so we're gonna run down and I'm gonna let him go up there and actually watch. I do too. Okay. Break. Let off. After a quick bite of lunch, we decided to hit 1776. There has two of the things that I want to work on. There's a big rock coming up in the middle of the trail that I've always went around. There's a weird little tabletop a little bit further down, and I didn't quite get it. Oh God, woo! Well, that's one way to warm up after lunch. 
There's also two set of rollers coming up that I uh, feel like you can double double through there. And I'm eyeing them up on this lap, but unfortunately I never got back to it the rest of the day. Yeah, I can do that. Wet off camera roots. Yay. Since we were trying to work on Wes's ride, and I, I filmed him a couple laps from behind to try to put him together something to watch. And at one point, we go down Armucci, and uh, I kind of got lost in the trail. There's a good gap right here. No, no, not here. It's the next turn like it. Sorry. It's out of this right-hand turn. It's a step down. Nope, the next right-hand turn. I swear it's out of one of them. Golly, Shane, where are you at? Yes, it's out of this one. I'm for sure. Yeah, boy. Since we was right here by the shuttle trail step up that I come up really short on this morning in the mud, I might as well get it again. And Wes decided he'd go on down ahead of me and take some video from the side. But the coolest thing happened, there was a group of kids at the park that was clearly their first time there. They were standing there and got to see it too and they really liked that. Now it's time to get on to Lower Local Pro. There's a weird gap down here that I really want to do, but I'll uh, I'll let me tell you about it. Okay, we're doing one of my favorite laps. Our Moochie to Local Pro. And there's this weird gap on Local Pro where it looks like you're gonna hit your head on the trees. <laughs> but I've been wanting to do for a while. We stopped and looked at it while ago, or earlier. And I don't think you can hit your head. And I know people jump it. So we'll see. Let's see what happens. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. I've been scared of that. Then there's absolutely nothing to it. Yeah, boy. Woo, wet roots. I knew it was a little gap. Just the trees, man. It makes it look like you're gonna hit your head. It's just a, a mental trick. With that done and out of the way, the sun's out, the flow trails opened up, I decided to do one full pull down double wide pretty much to end the day. There was a a small couple little tweaks on the trail that was changed from the last time I was here and uh, I got that figured out pretty well. Oh, look ahead Shane.
After crashing a month or so ago on the last big step up, to get over it clean today felt really good.